Hey guys, good morning. It's uh, From the Road with Robert here. Um, back with another video. I'm trying to get a little better about pushing them out a little faster. Um, and later today when I get done working, um, we are going to head into town and I'm going to try to take you along for the ride. And then when I get back from there, we're going to grab a ladder, climb up the ladder, and uh, I got some stuff to do with that modem, and then I'm going to kind of show you guys what I got going on, because I know a lot of you are interested in that whole setup. So we'll go ahead and do that. And um, yeah, so go ahead, <laughs> stay tuned, and I'll see you in a minute. Hey, baby, you going to give me some FaceTime today, huh? You going to say hi to the camera? Hey, baby. <laughs> you really don't like the camera, huh? Oh, baby. All right. Um, this is your close-up. I know you went down here, huh? You can't get through, huh? So, guys, uh... This is my setup usually when I walk. I just have a laptop right here. Um, it's enough to if I move it over. I can put in a mouse and everything if I want to. Um, but something I wanted to show you guys. Um, this is not consistent, but it is pretty fast most of the time. But this, this is the kind of result. I took a screenshot of this earlier. And this is the kind of result that I get from that modem. So to any of you technical people out there, you'll understand that a higher number is a better number when it comes to internet speed. And that is pretty fast. Um, but we'll kind of go over that and cover that more a little bit later. But, uh, yep, okay. Well, she's out of here. She's off to her favorite spot. All right, guys, we are pretty much ready to go. Uh, just got done working. Um, I'm gonna take this trash out here and and then we'll head out to the car and head into town. But just in case you guys are wondering, because I'd said I'd worked off the laptop and I do most of the day, it's comfortable, it works for me. Um, but I do have my desktop here and it is connected to the TV, so I can always log in right here. And this is another reason why I got this thing. So, yeah. And for the person who was into the whole computer thing, that's what it looks like when it's turned on. Anyway, I limit the use of that off-grid because it does suck a bunch of power. But when on-grid, it does get used. Other than that, I just, I just use my laptop right here. Anyway, I uh, will see you guys um, outside, I guess. All right. Okay, so I just got done dumping the trash in the dumpsters behind me here. And I'm just walking back to the car so we can get out of here. As far as what we're going to do today, I head to town, I have to go pick up a SIM card. Because you may think I'm crazy, but I have... <laughs> I have T-Mobile. I have my AT&T Fastnet connection. And then I'm actually picking up a Verizon SIM card. So this contains two. The T-Mobile and the AT&T. Um, and then the other one is going to go in my, my older router. But, uh... We're actually going to raise that up a little bit too this weekend is the plan, but I'll, I'm going to try to take you guys through what I can. Um, just don't know about climbing up on a ladder today, but we'll see because I might adjust it this evening, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get going anyway. <clears throat> And then in case you guys wondered, and I think I've mentioned this, this thing is a stick shift. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go so I'm not driving and swimming all over the road. There's people to my right here, so I'm intentionally driving on the other side. Um, and once I get a little closer, um, maybe get some footage of the bridge, and the bay, which I think I put in a previous video but uh, yeah 
Yeah, we'll see what I can get. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Right, guys as you saw we took a nice little drive into town there i hope i got enough video because i was driving so i want it to be safe at the same time and not you know cause a hazard on the road so i got as much as i could i hope you guys enjoyed that little uh drive there and um i got my mail right here so i got my sim card and i got a few other things that was pretty much all i came for and maybe I'll grab a couple of things at the store, but we're going to head to the gas station next and get this thing filled up because the light came on. So we are pretty much out of gas. So we just made it into town. So I'm going to go ahead and fill her up before I start heading back. And then we'll get into the modem and the setup and I'll show you guys what I can. There'll probably be a part two this weekend. Um, where I actually move it and show you how it's bracketed and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'll be right back. <laughs> Through the magic of video, it's the next day. I realized when I got back, it was super late. Well, it wasn't so much time late, but it got dark, so I couldn't really do a lot, and it was getting really, really cold. So I was like, well, this is a video, so I can wide break it up. I can just do the second part on the same day, or whatever day, because it's just day, and this is video. So <laughs> anyway, I'll stop blabbering. But uh, yeah, we're going to climb up the laddie here i got some adjustments to make so let me show you the product closer up um i don't think i spoke about what unit it is um but it's the yacom um 5g outdoor modem model number nr 610 q i'll put all the details in the um uh, description section along with the a link to somebody who I trust if you want to, to look at possibly purchasing the unit yourself. But we'll get into that in a minute. But let me get up the ladder and uh, show you what it looks like close up. Okay, guys, so here it is close up. You see, it's got some status lights on the front. Um, power, internet activity light. There's a Wi Fi light in the middle, but it's off. It's just a built in what's called management interface. So I turn that off because I have access to my own 
wireless equipment and then the 4G, 5G, and then your signal bar light on the end, which changes from red to blue to orange, depending on your signal level. And then that's what it looks like further up. This is how it's mounted to my ladder, just with a, a I don't know what you call those round clips, but just like a round clip. There. And then if you look under here, um, if you were going to run a separate power cable in this one that's empty right here, you would run it into there and it's got a little waterproof um, gasket on there. But because this thing is powered over the ethernet, I just have an ethernet cable running into it that runs all the way down here along the bumper and under and back into the RV and I will show you how I've done that. But uh, this other little slot right here, uh, this is a cover for the SIM card slot. So there is two SIM cards in here plus a factory reset button in case you screw things up. So you just undo those screws there, pull that cap off and then you have access to put two SIMs in. T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, you name it, it's got all the bands. But yeah, this is a Yacom. Um, and I have it directioned right now to a tower in the distance through all those trees that's actually on the other side of the bay. I'm going to be making some adjustments, but this thing is awesome. Um, I'm going to end up making some more videos on what you need to look for with the mobile data stuff versus Starlink. Uh, what are the negatives and the positives? Because there's always, there's never an all fits all solution. Uh, one fits all solution so i'll get into that but anyway let me get what i got i get done here and i shall be right back all right guys well hey everyone we're all done outside uh it is actually the following day i've been chasing against the daylight continuously i swear the days are just getting shorter and shorter and i tend to make a lot of my videos later in the afternoon anyway um I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, we're gonna head back outside because I'm gonna show you guys how I got everything set up um, and give you guys the walkthrough on that. Okay, we are back outside. All right. So, what I have is this thing connected through an ethernet cable. Um, so it's just a single like network cable, like the kind of cable you plug into your computer and then you plug into like your modem at home or something. Um, and I, not in the best way ever, I haven't really figured out how to make it look better, but it comes down the ladder. I just have it zip tied on with outdoor rated zip ties. And the cable comes down, it goes um, under the bumper all the way through here. And then, um, in this last bay right here, um, there's actually a hole that already existed for the power cable because this water heater was a, the electric I think was a retrofit. So there's an electric cable that just runs over here into my main distribution area. The, yeah, I have a, and I have lots of spare ethernet cable in case I ever need to move this thing. Um, I think in total there's a hundred feet of cable. <laughs> but it comes up here, um, it goes up, in here this pops out inside um, and then actually <laughs> it's the easiest way I could find around it but it actually comes along under the floor oh, trip over the tree trunk that I just stepped on um, and it drops down into this bay right here and then the You'll see it goes through that just that is um just an air vent and it goes all the way you see that little black cable right there that one right there goes all the way to the other side of the bay and then close this let's go around the front side the other side <clears throat> And it comes out of this bay. So that is the other side of the ride. I mean, it's pretty dark, and you guys can see, but there's a cable. And it comes in here. And then I told you this was powered by the cable that plugs into it. So 
So that little box with the blinky lights on it, that is a uh, 48 volt, you can see it right now on the side, uh, power over ethernet switch. This is a very simple switch I got off Amazon. It does 48 volts and powers the unit. Now it did come with an injector you can plug into the regular AC right there, but I don't actually use that because I have this converter back here which takes the 12 volt coming from my batteries and converts it to 48 volt. It's the same thing that we use with the Starlink. And then the out comes to 48 and then it comes into here and that is how it's powered. So when off grid, it uses less power because it's not running off your inverter to try to uh, keep it powered. It runs off your batteries, which is more efficient as I talked about a long time ago um, in the video that brought a lot of you guys to my channel. Um, from Bob Wells over at Cheap RV Living there. Anyway, so one cable comes in, very simple. Another cable comes out, runs right through here, another air vent. That runs into my my RV and then I actually have a router with a Wi-Fi built in that I use on the inside. Now, unfortunately, that is just 120 volt powered and I don't really have a way around that. It's just the choice of the particular router that I want it to use versus what you could use. Um, and it comes into this and this is called a Unify Dream Router by a company called Ubiquity. Just one unit, has Wi-Fi built in, but the cable comes through this little hole right here and then pops out into the back and just plugs into the back. Um, it's hidden decently, but there's one side of the cable. It actually pops out down here and it goes all the way down there and through that little bit hole that I talked about. And that is how I get my internet from outside from the antenna. Well, we're all done outside. Uh, I appreciate you joining me. Um, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with that thing so far. And I'm not just saying that because it's sponsored or anything, because it's not. I paid for this with my own money. And uh, I found this guy online watching somebody else's video and um, I'm really impressed so far. But the name of the company is ChesterTechRepairs.com. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Uh, you can buy the unit from him. He's a really good and honest guy. He knows his stuff. Um, and I'm also going to leave a link to the switch that I purchased through Amazon. But I'm pretty happy so far. I'll be making some more videos coming up on what's the best phone carrier. What are some of the settings you can adjust to better make the performance better for what you need. Anyway, that'll be coming further down the road. Um, but that's really all I have on this video for now. I don't want it to be too long. It already has gone on for quite a while. Um, but if you're not subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it and it helps me out a lot. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up icon. And yeah, I really do appreciate it. Well, that's all I have for now. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for joining me and peace out.